What's going on, everyone? I'm chilling with Dave right now, and we are outside of Pixels, if you can see it up there. And, yeah, um, they're closed today. It's Monday, but the guy said that he'd open up for us, so we're waiting for him right now, and we're gonna see what he's got. Let you guys know. Okay, everyone, so I'm still at Pixels right now. Just did some heavy negotiating. Got rid of some stuff I didn't really need or want and got uh, three games that I really wanted and have a little bit of credit left still. Dave's in there dealing with them right now. I'm going to smoking a cig and yeah, I'm pretty happy. The guy's pretty happy, so that's awesome. And yeah, I guess we'll show you what we got afterward. So with Dave right now, we just got out of Pixels. We're in there for like three hours negotiating and talking. And I'm happy with what I got. I'm sure Dave's happy with what he got. He got a lot of cool stuff for sure. I got a couple cool things. The guy is really awesome to work with. And, uh, yep, we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you guys what we got. Okay, so I'm with Dave right now. We're chilling at my place. He's going through his stuff of what he got, going through mine. Before I show you guys what I got, though, I got a package in the mail. And this thing looks like it's been, like, ran over, and the fucking stuff inside better not be messed up. But haven't even looked inside, but I ripped it open just enough so I could keep ripping so you guys could see i don't even know i know what it is but i haven't like i'm just gonna pull them out if i can one by one so they're in grocery bags and that's cool if they're not ripped and holy it's 10 cents a piece because thomas not thomas in connecticut itself fucking sucks bag tax first up chic your bounty frank zappa one of my favorite zappa cds of all time um yo mama's a great song i'm probably gonna show this to david when i'm done with this part and it's in good Max. shape. And yeah, Shake Your Bowdy from Zappa. Um, these are all Zappa CDs, by the way. Next one is, oh, I already know this, it's Fillmore 71 from Seeing the White. So this is the Mothers of Invention, Zappa, of course, Fillmore East, June 1971. Um, and this is not the one I thought it was, I don't think. No, blah, blah, blah. It's cool, but this is uh, the uh, old, old release of Fillmore East. So I got to rebuy it again so it looks like that on the spine instead of just white, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I got all these for five a piece, so. And then here's my receipt thing. Yeah, no prices, but. Hopefully the rest of them are the ones that I'm looking for. I hope they're not like the original Raikou. But let's see. Next one. Nice. Chunga's Revenge. And this is like the ones that I'm looking for. So that's awesome. Very, very awesome Zappa album right here. Yeah, for some reason my phone went off. But here it is. In good shape. Chunga's Revenge. And then last, but certainly not least, for this package, that's all there is, and it's, if I can get it going, nice, and it's the one I'm looking for, Burnt Weenie Sandwich from Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, very awesome, very, very cool, and I'm still waiting for one more Zappa CD to come in the mail, and it's the one I've wanted the most, so that's pretty cool. Um, three of them, the ones I was looking for in Fillmore East wasn't, but it's all right. I'm still happy with these things. For five bucks a piece, add more Zappa to the collection. Okay, so, still chilling with Dave, and showing him some Frank Zappa right now. I have Chic Your Bowdy in, classic stuff. But, uh, here's what Dave got. So, first up, he got this, um, high-frequency Sega Saturn controller. Really cool. I really like this one, though, for Sega Saturn. It's called the Super Pad 8. Really nice buttons. It's got like an auto for like turbo and stuff. That's cool. He got a stand for his Virtual Boy. He needed one of these. And this one's in like real nice shape. I know my camera doesn't really do justice, but it, it's very high quality. Like if I had a Virtual Boy, I'd definitely not be worried about it being on this thing. But now that those are all out of the way, like peripherals and little crap like that. Getting to the meat and potatoes here. So Dave got... Um, the Japanese version of Tetris for Virtual Boy. I guess he said it's different than the uh, U.S. version, so, yeah, he's going to ch check it out. Well, you know more about it than I do, if you want to talk about it for a second. 
Oh, the Japanese one's just regular Tetris. American one is 3D. Oh, all right, that makes sense. And then he got an N64 game he needed, Robotron 64. I've never even heard of this game. Cool. Shit. Nah, it's cool. Um, Bandit Kings of Ancient China. Uh, strategy game, really horrible, but one I still need. Dreamcast Nightmare Creatures 2, which looks pretty fun. Actually looks real cool. Um, 3DO game, you never see 3DO games nowadays, uh, Blade Force. Looks really, really cool. And then the manual for Super Smash Bros. for N64, of course. Mansion. Uh, Hidden Souls for Sega Saturn. Definitely looks cool. He got five uh, plastic protectors for Super Nintendo games. Uh, I got five also. They look like this when they're on the games, like, like the cases. Keep them from getting like beat up. <coughs> I just gave Corona. Oh, sorry. And then this is really cool. This was given to him by the guy at Pixels. This is a... Uh, KB Toys Ocarina of Time like poster. This is like for promotion for when the game came out. Very cool down here. 1998 Nintendo. That's pretty damn neat. So it's nice of him to hook Dave up with that for nothing. And then last that Dave picked up was Nightmare Creatures 2, the official strategy guide. He uh, got the game. So when I get the strategy guide, and yes, it works for um, well, it covers Sega Dreamcast and PlayStation. So. Very cool. Okay, so Dave bounced out, and it's just me. Danielle's on her way home from work right now, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Um, everything was credit, and I still have some credit left over. I brought some stuff into trade, and so, yeah, this is what I picked up. First up, Vector Man 2 for uh, Sega Genesis. I'm not a big fan of these cardboard boxes, but the cart is in mint shape. It's missing the manual, but... Whatever. I was happy to get this. I think this is like 12 bucks. Um, Mutant League Football, which I've been wanting for a while too. Like, uh, this is very cool. And it comes with like free inside, if I can focus, two collectible trading cards. And then if I open it up, um, let's see. It comes with the two trading cards, which is awesome. Happy about that. Then it comes with a poster and a bunch of, like, the paperwork, but no manual, sadly. But here's the cart in really nice shape, besides that one sticker I can get off. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I picked up Die Hard Trilogy for Sega Saturn. I've been on this game for a while since I got the Saturn, so that's awesome. Sadly, the case is, like, broken up there, so when I open it up, like, it doesn't stay good. But, yep, very happy about that. One more to check off the list of die. I mean, not die hard. Wow, well, of, 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 I want to get die hard also for like place. I mean, not NES, but yeah, I'm one to knock off my Saturn list. And then I got five of these uh protective plastics for Super Nintendo games. Also, I put one on uh, Contra 3 right now just so you guys can see what it looks like. You know, I showed it just a minute ago, but pretty cool. I'm gonna use that for my Adam's Family Values, Ren and Stimpy, Vidiot. Uh, Doom and Darius Twin. So that's what I'm doing right now. That was all the stuff I got. So that's pretty cool. Not not these boxes and stuff. I've had these. Just the box protectors and these three games. Yeah, very cool. And I still have credit left over, which is awesome for next time I go.